I learned a Backstreet Boys song to play at the end if I really suck. No, I really fucking learned it. I swear to God I learned it. Break the noise. It's easy as hell. It's kind of good, actually, sort of. When I do it, it's really good. But I don't have the clothes. I, and I can't, I can't dance, and I'm always hungover. It's, I can never be a Backstreet Boy. This thing is not tuning, Dave. Do you wish I was there? Do you wish it was me? Tell me about this, uh, this producer. Ethan John. Ethan John. He uh, comes from uh, Pedigree. Producer Pedigree. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, well, he's, he's Glenn's son. Glenn? Glenn Johns. Glenn Johns, who made lots of different albums. and uh, You know, I guess The Who and uh, Beatles' last record. And, um, lots of Stones records, and, uh, among other records. But what's, what's interesting is Ethan actually grew up sort of being a, a, a musician more. So there's going to be stories about his first guitar Keith Richards gave him. <laughs> his first drum set our drum lesson Charlie gave him. Mm -hmm. He actually introduced me to Charlie, who introduced me to Keith, when we were all in the studio together in Los Angeles. So it was really weird. So there's this sort of classic mm -hmm. rock connection yeah, there. Yeah. So if I bum anybody out, I'm really sorry, but that just means I'm probably doing my job pretty good. <laughs> I was going to cover a Slayer song, but I can't figure out the diminished seventh. And, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Although it'd be really cool to cover a Slayer song, just to say that one line, um, Before you see the light, you must die! <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if it would work like an E minor, you know? Before you see the light, you must die. <laughs> Robinson. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, he had that Sam Cooke feel and all that. He had all he did all those backwards chords. I love that stuff, you know. And that stuff is it's it's, it's perfect and in place for like soul and R and B. Um, I mean, that's that's like the music. That's the honey of the gods to me. Is going back and listening to some of that real stuff. I made it up. Being on a cowboy, you can own an old green cat. Being on a baseball bat, you can own a cowboy. Crapping on the sidewalk. Crapping on the sidewalk. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it does sound really good. I hear it now. I'm going to try to play like part new songs and part old songs if that's okay, because I just sort of got in this place where I was writing a whole bunch of stuff, half of which was just utter shit. Crap. Ola. And the, and the other half I kind of dug, so. I try to be forward thinking. Mm -hmm. And I have like lots and lots and lots of records to make, and I'm not anywhere near done whatsoever at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I'm at the point creatively where I can make probably two a year. Um, you know, a couple nights ago after the show in Cambridge, I guess this would actually be two nights ago, I've written eight songs in the two weeks I've been out. Wow. And this, yeah, and this fellow in Cambridge, Mass., who has a studio called Q Studios, said, uh, he was like, look, man, I just saw the show. You know, you, you started off with five new songs. If you want, you can go to my studio right now and track them uh, for free mm -hmm. to, to Two Inch on the Knee. Mm -hmm. And I took him up for it and stayed up all night. Mm -hmm. I tracked five of the eight that I've written since I've been on tour. Take me out. What's really cool is two of them have gone on piano. 
fuck so, me up. Nice record, which I already thought it was. Steal my record. smile on your face and then do it again I wish you Take me out Fuck me 